To add more teeth to the Eurofighter Typhoon fighter jets, Active Electronically Scanned Array, or ASA radar, which represents one of the world's most advanced radar technologies, has been installed on the fourth generation Eurofighter Typhoon by BAE Systems and Leonardo UK. The two companies announced that BAE System and Leonardo UK engineers installed the European Common Radar System, or ECRS Mark II or Mark II prototype, also known as the Captor E Mark II, on BS-116, a UK test and evaluation Typhoon jet. While Leonardo UK has developed the system, BAE Systems has incorporated the ECRS Mark II into the Typhoon. Ahead of a maiden flight by this cutting-edge war machine, the ECRS Mark II radar has been installed on the Typhoon. The radar reportedly has a unique positioning mechanism that will bolster the combat capability of this Royal Air Force or RAF aircraft. The much-anticipated radar is expected to give the RAF Typhoons many new capabilities that will enable the aircraft to support the United Kingdom's F-35B stealth jets more effectively. It is speculated that it will also eventually interest other European aircraft users. Although it's taken a while, BAE Systems claims that the ECRS Mark II is the world's most capable combat air radar. The radar, still in the prototype phase, was put on a Typhoon test plane at the end of last year. After ground testing this year, flying trials of the aircraft and its enhanced radar are anticipated to commence at BAE's Wharton Lancashire base. The advanced radar has a multifunctional array, or MFA, for electronic warfare and search and tracking applications. The two defense giants noted that the radar will be able to locate and deny the use of an adversary's radar with a powerful electronic jamming attack while staying beyond the reach of threats. The development and integration of this radar are part of the $2.35 billion pound or $2.97 billion Eurofighter upgrade program announced in January 2022. The upgrade program seeks to maintain the Eurofighter jet as an effective combat force for the next two decades. At the time of announcing the vaunted upgrade program, UK Minister for Defense Procurement Jeremy Quinn stated that the upgrade plan includes the delivery of the state-of-the-art European Common Radar System Mark II radar and work also ensures the aircraft can integrate additional capabilities and weapons later in the decade to counter emerging threats until 2040 and beyond. The UK is also developing a sixth generation aircraft under the Global Air Combat Program, or GCAP, in collaboration with Japan and Italy. However, since the aircraft would not enter service until 2035, the RAF has taken upon itself the responsibility to upgrade the capabilities of its existing Eurofighter fleet which is the bulwark of its air power. The Eurofighter Typhoon is a Delta Wing beyond visual range close air fighter jet with exceptional capabilities for conducting air-to-air -air and air-to-ground attacks. The plane can also maintain speeds of over Mach 1 without using the afterburner. It has two Eurojet EJ200 engines, each capable of providing 90 kilonewtons of thrust in full reheat and 60 kilonewtons in dry power mode. It was reported last year that the radar would be equipped on the Royal Air Force's fleet of 40 Tranche 3 Eurofighters at the end of the decade. The Royal Air Force currently has a fleet mainly composed of Tranche 1, Tranche 2, and Tranche 3 variants of the Eurofighter Typhoons, but only the latest tranche of the aircraft which was built with the internal wiring and infrastructure necessary to accommodate the installation of the newest radar will be equipped with it. What makes the European Common Radar System, ECRS Mark II, so deadly? As per a previous statement made by the manufacturer, the ECRS Mark II radar will further transform the Eurofighter Typhoon's control of the air 
bringing a world-leading electronic warfare capability that will allow the aircraft to simultaneously detect, identify, and track multiple targets in the air and on the ground. It will support operations in the most challenging situations, equipping pilots with the ability to suppress enemy air defenses using high-powered jamming and engage targets while beyond the reach of threat. The new radar will have a new processor, receiver, and generator for electronic warfare. The radar will have a wider field of vision, thanks to a new mechanism for rotating the swash plate, especially during aerial encounters beyond sight range. Additionally, a recently constructed, mainly made ray dome conceals the radar antenna. This radar's ability to retain radar surveillance of an aerial target beyond 90 degrees allows the Typhoon to conceal itself in the Doppler notch and still deliver targeting updates to its missiles, which is a significant advantage in some air-to-air -air situations. The radar's processor, receiver, and antenna power supply and control units have all been re-engineered to further enhance the capacity, capability, and performance of the Mark II system in alignment with the new antenna and electronic warfare capability. These production designs have all passed their critical design review phases, keeping the production program on schedule, according to Ross Wilson, VP Engineering Radar and Advanced Targeting, Leonardo UK. To further enhance the capability, capacity, and performance of the Mark II system in alignment with the new antenna and electronic warfare capability, he continued, the radar's processor, receiver, antenna power supply, and control components had all been re-engineered. According to Wilson, the production timetable is being maintained since all the recent production designs have completed their critical design review stages. Experts emphasize that the radar's high power and colossal antenna make it extremely sensitive. This will allow Eurofighter to carry out electronic surveillance to find radar emitters and provide further standoff air-to-surface capabilities. Adversary radars will be susceptible to degradation by an electronic attack capability. BAE Systems explained, Eurofighter Typhoon will be able to locate and deny use of an adversary's radar with a powerful electronic jamming attack while staying beyond the reach of threats. Unspecified advanced air-to-surface capabilities and secure data link modes, which allow the radar to be used for high bandwidth communications, are known features of the ECRS Mark II. According to the Royal Air Force, the ECRS Mark II is expected to begin operating in 2030. However, they note that this date may be moved up if required. Even if it might take a while to arrive, the ECRS Mark II will provide the British Typhoon fleet with a significant boost in capabilities and boost the export potential of the Tranche 3 variant of the aircraft.